Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, welcome everyone. Today's Sunday feast lecture. And after that, Arti and Prashadam. So today's topic is Panihati Chiradahi Utsav. Today's the day, Tithi wise, this particular festival happened. So we'll be discussing on that. We'll sing one song glorifying Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Daya Karamare Shri Krishna Karamare Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Daya karamare Shri Krishna Tanya Prabhu Daya karamare Toma bina ke daya lo Jagata samsare Patita pavana hetu tabaya batar pavana hetu tabaya Mashama patita prabhu na pai bea Mashama patita prabhu na pai bea Ha prabhu nityananda Premananda Sukhi Kripa Bala Kanakara Ami Bara Daya karo sita pate Advaita gosai Advaita तब कृपा बोले पाए चैतन्य निताए आहा स्वरूप सनातन Ruparagho nad Bhatta Juga Shri Devaha Prabhulakana Daya karo Shriya Charya Prabhu Shrinivas Prabhu. 
रामचंद्र संग मगे नरतामद रामचंद्र संग मगे नरतामद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु दया कर मे तुम बिना के दयालो जगत संसारे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hey
कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु दया कर बिना के दयालो जगत संसार गेट जय रथ माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल्लभ शिशु लक्ष्मी नरसिंह देव भगवान की जगत गुरु शील प्रभुपाद की निताय गौर प्रेमानंद सो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द संडे फिस्ट लेक्चर टुडेज टॉपिक इज पानीहाटी चिरा दही महोत्सव टुडे इज द डे वेन द ग्रेट फेस्टिवल एट पानीहाटी चिरा दही महोत्सव वॉज हेल्ड एंड दिस पास्ट टाइम्स आर बॉट टू अस नन अदर देन Srila Prabhupada, who painstakingly actually wrote down all these pastimes. In fact, actually he stopped his Srimad Bhagavatam translation to give to the world Chaitanya Charita Amrita, which he did in Los Angeles in a record time. So we'll read one of the pastimes. It's very, very important for us. But before that, we'll uh, do the Mangala Charan, seeking the blessings of the previous Acharyas. अज्ञानतिमिरंधस्य ज्ञानांजन सलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलितम् येन तस्मै श्री गुरबे नमः श्री चैतन्ना मनो भिष्टम् स्थापितम् येन भूतले स्वयं रूपा कदामायम् Dadati Shvapadantikam Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam 
साग्रजातम सहगना रघुनाथ नितम तम सचीबम साद्वैतम साबधुतम परिजना सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पादन सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखानितम शा नमः विष्णु पादा कृष्णा प्रिष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामे नित्य नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाने प्रचारिने निर्विशेष शुन्नबादी पश्चत्त देशतारिने हे कृष्णा करुणा शिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिका कंता श्री राधा कंता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचना गोरांगी श्री राधे ब्रिंदा बनेश्वरी ब्रिशाभानुसुते देवी प्रणमामे हरि प्रिये वांछा कल्पतरु भैष्चा कृपा शिंदु बाये बचा पतितानं पावने भ्यो बिष्णबे भ्यो नमो नमः श्री कृष्णा चैतन्या प्रभु नित्यानंदा श्री अद्वैता गदाधार श्री बाशादि गौर भक्त ब्रिंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे जयताम सुरतो पंगुर ममा मंदा मतेर गति ही मत सर्वश्च पदाम भोजो श्री श्री राधा मधनमो हनो अनार पिता चरिम चिरात करुणा या बतिर नकलो समर पैतम वन्नत उज्ज्वल रसम सभक्ति श्रीम हरि पुरत सुंदर अद्दुते कदंबा संदिपिता शदारि दयकंदरे स्पुरतो वा सचिनंदनो ओम नमो भगवते नरसिंहाया नमस्ते जस्ते जसे आबिर आबिर भव बजरनखा बजरद्रम्श्रा कर्माशयन रंध्रया रंध्रया तमोग्रासा ग्रासा ओम स्वाहा अभयम अभयम आत्मने भूष्टा ओम श्रोम निलाचले निबासाय निताय परमात्मने बलबद्रम सुबद्रम जगन्नाथाय नमो नमः बंदे श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य नित्तानंद सहोदितो गोरोदये पुष्पबंतो चित्रशंदो तमोनदो मुखम करोति बाचालम पंगुम लंघायते गिरिम यत्कृपात महम बंदे परमानंद माधवम यत्कृपात महम बंदे श्रीचैतन्य ईश्वरम यत्कृपात महम बंदे श्रीगुरु दीनतारिनम Since we are going to discuss from Chaitanya Chaitamita, we will sing a special verse. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Binda So for a moment, let us isolate ourselves from the external impulses of this world and let us transport ourselves to Sri Jagannath Puri Dham where there is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we are going to discuss the past times. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in Jagannath Puri and King Prataprudra Maharaj is there. 
in Jagannath Puri trying to get a audience of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's the context. So these pastimes that we hear, that we discuss from Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, they are very, very potent and they can solve the problems of our life. They are the solution. In fact, in life, there is no material solution. We can see that we have been trying these, that, and something else pops up. It's like Ramana's ten head. You cut one, another, boom, comes. And it's like a never solving. It's also uh, compared like a spider web. You have seen a spider web, an insect falls. It tries to come out. The more it tries to come out, the more it gets entangled. Similarly, material problems apparently doesn't have any material solution. They, even in deeply, they don't have any material solution. You can temporarily suppress it. It's like allopathic pills, you take, suppress it. But, you know, it just eventually it comes out. But they do have a spiritual solution. And that is, they are given in the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Chaitamita. Srimad Bhagavatam 11 to 42 says a very beautiful verse. It says, Bhakti parashanu bhava biraktir annatra chaishatri kaeka kala prapadda manasya thashnata shur tushti pushti shuddha ayapha anughasam Bhakti parashanu bhava If we practice devotion service, what happens? If we do bhakti, parashanu bhava direct meeting the Lord face to face. Can you imagine? The most important person. Let's say, if we tell, you have an appointment with Joe Biden tomorrow morning, how do you feel? <laughs> Excited, right? Similarly, the Lord is the Lord of the whole universe. So if we practice bhakti, this simple process of bhakti, what happened? Bhakti pareshanu bhava, direct experience with the Lord. That is the power of bhakti. And bhakti parashana bhava biraktir annatra chai shatrika eka kala. Automatically, the unwanted things will lose, they will fall apart. So two things we are achieving. Direct experience with the Lord by practicing bhakti. And the unwanted things falls off. There are so many, you know, powerful seminars, this and that, and still people attached to the their bad habits. Why? Because if you see the word habit, how it is? H A B I T. If you remove H, a bit still remains, right? If you remove A, bit still remains. If you remove B, it still remains. So it's impossible to get rid of the anarthas that stick like a you know, the deeply fried oil cry or vessel, you know, that black mark is still there, it just doesn't go. Just like a bottle of wine, that smell never goes. Similarly, impossible to get rid of the anarthas on our own. But when we surrender to the process of devotion, automatically they goes away. Bhakti pareshanu bhava biraktir annatra chaishatrika kakala Prapadda manasya athash natashur tushti pushti. You get nourishment. If you take food, what happened? Tushti. You feel satisfied. When you do bhakti, when you practice bhakti, then we feel our heart feels satisfied. Otherwise, we can try around so many things. So many people have been trying, but they don't feel satisfied. Their heart remains empty. We know smiling faces, crying hearts, right? Empty hearts. Loneliness is a problem in the modern century. But the Bhagavatam has the solution. Tushti, we will be satisfied. Even if we don't have anything, if we just practice bhakti, just chant our rounds, take Krishna prasadam, associate with devotees, we'll feel great satisfaction guaranteed. Because Bhagavatam is telling, Bhakti Pareshanu Bhavayakti Anatra Chaishatrika Kala Prapadda Manashe Atashnatashur Tushti Pushti We feel nourishment. Shuddha Apaya Anugrasam. 
means every morsel when we take, what happens? The shuddha, the hunger goes away. Similarly, when we practice bhakti sincerely, genuinely, with earnestness, then automatically the hunger there in the heart. The biggest hunger, you know, Mother Teresa, one time she said that I see the biggest, uh, the richest people as the most hungry people. Because it's not physical hunger, it's the mental hunger, frustration, loneliness, insecurity. So she said, on the other hand, I see this uh, people who are dying in my hand out of hunger, they have some satisfaction. So similarly, that's why Bhagavatam is telling it's because this satisfaction, this hunger is of internal thing than more external. So that's why even just by external food won't satisfy. That's why Krishna consciousness gives a complete package. Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, he inaugurated food for life. So it's not just prasad, it's not just the food, that is prasadam, that is Krishna's mercy. Along with that, Srila Prabhupada gave the Bhagavad Katha. So that has the power to completely nourish and satisfy our heart. Just like here it is mentioned, Tushti Pushti Shuddha Apaya Anukhasam. So um, that's why practice of bhakti is so potent. And discussing these pastimes from the pages of Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita is so potent. So where we were, remember the context? We are in Jagannath Puri, where Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is performing his pastimes. And Pratapruddha Maharaj is trying to get an audience. So, Pratapruddha Maharaj is very eager to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We have Jagannath Snan Jatra coming, you know, 14th is Jagannath Snan Jatra. It will be celebrated in Jagannath Puri. And then after that, two weeks is Rath Yatra. So, Pratapruddha Maharaj is a great, great king and servant of the Lord who, is, who serves the Lord so much and he is trying to get an audience of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the role of a devotee, in the role of a sannyasi, to establish the etiquette, he is not allowing the audience of a bishai, a materialistic person. Because if he does that, then the common people will follow. Mahayana, Yana Gatash Sapantha. What great people do, common people follow. So that's why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very strict about his conducts. So, but Pratapruddha Mahaj is very, very eager. And then the devotees, although the Lord is defying, uh, denying the audience with him, but the devotees are very merciful. That's why devotees are our, our, our hope. If a devotee prays for us, if we can somehow secure a devotee's mercy, we can get Krishna's mercy. So, the devotees are very eager that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives mercy to Pratapruddha Maharaj. And that is the sign of a Vaishnava. He is not just, sat just satisfied just by he himself uh, getting the mercy. He is very eager that other devotees receive mercy. Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he said, Para dukhe dukhi. That is the sign of a Vaishnava. When will my heart cry for others' heart? In this world, Exactly opposite, para dukhe shukhi. If others are miserable, they become, people become happy. But a devotee, para dukhe dukhi, means if others are miserable, a devotee's heart cries. So all the devotees wanted Pratapruddha Maharaj to get the mercy. So Pratapruddha Maharaj, uh, all the devotees are pleading on Pratapruddha Maharaj's behalf. And um, they, they do a... Um, so-called transcendental conspiracy. <laughs> they suggest that you know that you approach the Lord um, in in a common dress, just a, like a common simple person. So when the Rathyatra is happening, then the you know the the Lord is taking um, um, Lord is dancing just before the Rathyatra and during the Rathyatra. And when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is dancing, all the different ashto shatik bikar, the eight transformations is appearing from his eye syringe of uh, tears. It's a prema ashru. That tears are tears of love. That's like a syringe, it's flowing. And he's falling to the ground. So obviously the dust is coming to his body. 
and in his highest stage of ecstasy this saliva is coming from his mouth and from his nose chaitanya bhagavat describes that when lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is dancing all that dust of jagannath puri along with mixed with saliva is also on his body so by seeing that pratapruddha maharaj gets little bewildered and he has a slight doubt that uh, is he my supreme lord uh, and so that day night chaitanya bhagavat describes that lord jagannath gives him darshan pratapruddha maharaj and he sees that lord jagannath uh, he his body is anointed with the dust of uh, <laughs> jagannath puri and he has saliva coming out of his nose and his eyes and pratapruddha maharaj wanted to touch the lotus feet of lord jagannath and then jagannath is saying no no you are born in a very high raised family uh, and uh, why should you touch only when i'm dressed i'm there with camphor and you know, other things i'm supremely like in that lord is always pure but in that state camphor and aguru then only you, can, you will approach and then after some time uh, pratapruddha maharaj understands and then shri chaitanya mahaprabhu actually he gives him darshan uh, and then pratapruddha maharaj understands and then you know he cries for lord's mercy this past time is described in chaitanya bhagavat and then um, with devotees uh, devotees suggestion pratapruddha maharaj approaches when the lord um, stops at balaganti so in that garden jagannath ballab garden when chaitanya mahaprabhu is taking rest that time pratapruddha maharaj in the dress of a simple vaishnav devotee he approaches uh, lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and just by touching the lord's lotus feet um pratapruddha maharaj in complete ecstasy and then shri chaitanya mahaprabhu his antaryami he puts his hand on uh, pratapruddha maharaj's head and he comes him down and then the famous gopi geet uh, is sung tab katham ritam tapt jeevanam kabhi viritam kalma shapaham shravana mangalam shri madatatam bhuvi krinantiye bhurita janam this kathamritam of the lord tapta jivanam or heart this is a forest fire outside there is so much heat but the heat of inside is much more hot than the outside heat so if inside is cool we can easily tolerate the outside heat and difficulties but no matter how many acs we put how much comfort we arrange if inside is burning it will give no satisfaction so the gopis are telling tab kathamritam your kathamrita the nectar of your past times can only quench the tapta jivan nam the the heated up the fire that's going on samsara daba nalalera loka tranaya karunna ghana ghana tvam so by guru's mercy by lord's mercy samsara dava nala the inside fire is like a forest fire that can be just like if there is a forest fire in california we have to wait for the rain to fall right that only can quench actually that can extinguish so tab katham ritam tapta jivana so then pratapruddha maharaj gets lord's mercy and the lord is again after that his dancing the rathayatra happens and lord meets nitananda prabhu and he tells nitananda prabhu my dear nitai in uh, my suggestion is that you please go back to bengal and you preach there because there are so many people who are suffering so lord's mission one of the mission in shrimad bhagavatam we see the sages ask six questions one of the question was what is the purpose of lord's appearance and the answer that comes is to reclaim the fallen souls of this world 
So the Lord heart is always pained, just like a child if he goes out of the home. The father, mother, they always think of the child. They are pained. Child is also pained, but more than child, the father, parents are pained. So that's why Krishna's heart is pained when he sees us suffering. So the why we are suffering in this world? Krishna bhulia jeep. Bhagavancha kare nikotastha mayatare japati adhare. That we forgot Krishna. Krishna bhulia. We forgot Krishna. Jeep. The souls, the living entities. What they do? Bhagavancha kare. They want to enjoy. They want to squeeze out every bit of happiness in this world. There is nothing wrong in that. But what is wrong is Krishna bhulia. That we forgetting Krishna. And nikotastha mayatare japati adhare. So that's why uh, Mahaprabhu is suggesting Nityananda Prabhu that you please go to Bengal and you preach, you deliver the people. In Bhagavad Gita also we see Krishna tells that that devotee is most favorite of mine who? Who preaches this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, my katha, my glories to the others. Because that can deliver the people from suffering. So Nityananda Prabhu takes up the Lord's mission. Because Nityananda Prabhu's the only mission is to serve Lord Chaitanya. He is constantly taking the name of Gauranga, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, and he, with his associates, with his parshads, he goes to the path of Bengal, and all along doing the Nam Sankirtan. Shrimad Bhagavatam, last look, twelve thirteen twenty three, says. Nama Sankirtana Yasa Sarabha Papa Pranashanam Pranama Dukkha Samanas Tamanamami Harim Param Nama Sankirtana Yasa You know any class, any courses, the first class and the last class are the most important classes. But that summarizes. Shumat Bhagavatam, first look, last look, establishes Krishna as the Supreme Person of Godhead. So this last look says, Stressing on Nama Sankirtan. So that is the dharma of this yuga. Kali Yuga dharma is Nama Sankirtan. Because there is so much difficulty in the lives of Kali Yuga people. That's why Krishna extends himself. He made the process very simple. And what is that process? He's doing the Nama Sankirtana Yoga. So Nama Sankirtan can be performed in two ways. One is you chant in our beads, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We can chant in our beads or in our fingers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can chant every day. Just this 12. This is the Yuga Dharma. If we perform that, we can see so much transformation, change in our life. So we don't have to leave anything, we have to just add Krishna in our life. And the second form is Sankirtan, all together, Sammakrupa Kirtan, all together, doing, taking the holy name of the Lord. So Lord Nityananda Prabhu, his associates are chanting and they are in complete ecstasy. They are in so much ecstasy that they forget the path. So sometimes they go, five miles this way and they ask the people, free GPS in India, <laughs> which way is Ganga? They say, oh my God, my Lord, you have missed five miles this way, you have to go that way, five miles. And they are so absorbed, after some time they ask, oh my Lord, you have come 20 miles this way, you have to go the opposite direction 20 miles. So they are so absorbed in the Holy Nam, Hare Krishna, Mahamantra, Hari Nam Sankirtan. So, when we have that absorption, then we transcend the, the uh, dualities of this world. In this world, the happiness and distress are like webs in an ocean. One goes, again it comes. Goes, nothing is permanent here. So, they are just inevitable, comes. We have to just tolerate. So, uh, when we absorb ourselves, when we
get intoxicated like this. You have seen, like just like a drunkard when he drinks, he speaks so many things, right? He <laughs> he has no sense what's going on. <laughs> Similarly, when a devotee takes the process of Krishna consciousness very seriously, surrenders, and actually relishes, absorbs in chanting the holy name, in Krishna seva, prasad seva, book distribution, cooking, cleaning, so many sevas. So then. And only then we can transcend the dualities, the miseries, the fire, the difficulties of this world. That is the solution. So while chanting like that, they ultimately reach the village of Panihati. Panihati is located on the bank of Ganga. You can also go when you visit India. It's near Calcutta. and. Uh, no, yeah, not very far from Calcutta. So it's right on the banks of uh, Ganga. And there stays Raghav Pandit. And Nitananda Prabhu, with his associates, he comes and immediately Raghav Pandit's house he comes. And Raghav Pandit is uh, you know, so happy by seeing the Lord coming there. Previously, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he did took sannyas, after sannyas, um, you know, he tries to go to Vrindavan, but by his pastimes, he actually comes to the Malda, um, the way um, to upper part of Bengal. So there he gives mercy to Rup Sanatan. So um, on this way, while coming back, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stops at Panihati, and there Raghupandit house uh, he stayed, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, uh, so Nityananda Prabhu comes to the same place, Raghupandit's house, and immediately uh, um, Raghupandit is very happy, he receives. And then uh, Lord Nityananda Mahaprabhu, he imbues, Im everyone he inspires just by his glance to take up the Sankirtan. And by his wonderful beauty, Nityananda Prabhu, and by his Harinam Sankirtan, he attracts so many souls. And everybody is chanting and dancing, and they are intoxicated in chanting and dancing uh, the, the holy name of the Lord. And uh, it so happened that one time, several kids, you know, he had this kids' kirtan. We have Vashak Maharaj's kids' kirtan. So many kids, they joined. Uh, Nityananda Prabhu is this Kirtan and Nityananda Prabhu empowered them so much that even the small small kids they became so enthusiastic that they were uprooting big big trees <laughs> out of enthusiasm and they were dancing and they were chanting for one month they didn't even eat or sleep but how they were nourished just by this Krishna Katha and the mercy of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. We see Parikshit Maharaj also. He was so absorbed that he did not feel the pains of hunger and thirst for seven days. It's called spiritual nourishment. So these kids were so, so absorbed that they were all chanting and their parents were also so happy. For one month, they chanted and danced. And after one month, Nityananda Prabhu said that, okay, please decorate me very nicely. And immediately as Lord desired, immediately so many people came with their jewelries and so many people came with the silks. So Nityananda Prabhu, they decorated and Nityananda Prabhu then said that, I wish to wear uh, Kadamba flower. You know, Kadamba flower is very favorite of Krishna. Krishna also loves Kadamba flower. Golden color flower, very, very fragrant. But then Raghupandit said, my dear Lord, this is not the time for the Kadamba flower. It has a season and a very less time it comes, you know, just like Champa flower, very fragrant. That also comes just after uh, the rainy season, just for two months, you know, it comes very fragrant, golden color flower. Radharani's color is that golden Champa. So, uh, 
So Lord Nithananda Prabhu, so Raga Pandit said, this is not the time. So Nithananda Prabhu said, don't worry, you go to your backyard and you will you'll find it. So Raga Pandit went and he was surprised to see that his nimbu, the lemon tree, was producing the kadamba flower. <laughs> and he <laughs> offered this beautiful kadamba flower to the Lord Nithananda Prabhu. And the devotees, they put chandan. Some devotees, they got this you know, ch uh, champa, champa, swarna champa, it is called. The most fragrant flower, swarna champa. In LA, there is one tree where they produce this swarna champa. They offer to Rukmini Dwarka this swarna champa. Uh, so that flower they put, Malati, Madhavi flower they put, and Nityananda Prabhu started dancing and chanting. And when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so I'm telling two first times in parallel. <laughs> so when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was coming down after, you know, remember he uh, going to Kanai Natsala, Ramkali, and after Sanyas is coming down. So he briefly stopped at Kuliagram, you know, where he met Sachimata and all. So that time, Raghunath Das Goswami also came. Why? Because Raghunath Das Goswami, uh, his school guru Jadunandan Acharya has a, um, had a very close tie with uh, Haridas Thakur. And Haridas Thakur visited because of that bondage, Haridas Thakur, uh, he was uh, when this Ram Chandra Khan, all that episode was happening, he came here, Jadunandan Acharya's home, and there he stayed for some time. And that time, little Raghunath Das Goswami used to go and listen. And he thought, my God, he has nothing, but he has something which nobody has. He has the Krishna Prem. Haridas Thakur was effulgent. And anybody could make sense that here is a saint. So Raghunandan, Raghunath Das Goswami, he was from a very affluent family. He was a billionaire son. But he thought that what I have doesn't make so much sense than what he has. What is he? Haridas Thakur. I want that what he has. And that is the beauty of hearing from pure devotees. So when we hear from pure devotees, that can change our heart. That's why Prahlad Maharaj, he said, Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam. Shravanam is first. Srimad Bhagavatam also says, Dhautatma Purusha Krishna Padamulam Namanchati Mukta Sarva Pariklesa Panthaswa Saranam Jata so dhautatma, it will be cleansed, just like water, today is cloudy, hope it rains. So just like it rains, it cleans up things, right? You have seen after rainy season, here it rains in winter, after that everything is lush, green and clean. Similarly, when we hear Bhagavad Katha, when we absorb ourselves in Harinam Sankirtan, dhautatma, our heart becomes cleansed, it's an internal cleaning, much required. External cleaning we do, but do we do internal cleaning? This is one of the process chanting and hearing of the glories of the Lord. Dhautatma Purusha Krishna, about Krishna. Dhautatma Purusha Krishna. So, so when Raghunath Das Thakur heard from Haridas Thakur, he developed an attachment to Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And that is the love that we all are looking for in life. In life, we are falsely chasing after wealth, dhan. But actually that will not satisfy us. No matter how much wealth we accumulate, it's not going to satisfy. Yeah, we have to do what we have to do in this world. But we should know that that's not going to satisfy us unless we use it in Krishna's service. Because we are all are looking for the prem dhan. Dhan of prem. Dhan of love of Godhead. The wealth of love of Godhead is what every one of us, every soul of this world are chasing after actually. 
So, Haridas Thakur, Raghunath Das Goswami, then he thought that I want what Haridas Thakur has. And he heard more and more and he developed love of Godhead. Similarly, Narottam Das Thakur also we see that he was very eager to hear he heard from Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami. And he developed this intense love, the greed. So when we hear that love, the Krishna poem kindles, awakens in our heart. And our life becomes successful. Pravishta karna randhrena svanam bhava sararuham dhunati samalam krishna salilasya yatha sarat. Pravishta karna randhrena. You see, we have two years. There is a purpose. Only one month, two years. Means what? We should hear more and speak less. <laughs> it's very precisely designed, everything. So what is the purpose of these ear holes? Pravishta karna randhrena svanam bhava saroruham dhunati samalam krishna to hear krishna katha. Then what happened? Salilasya yatha sharat. Just like sharat kal, autumn season. The, you see water beds become very clean. Similarly, our heart becomes clean when we hear the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, the pastime of the Lord. So Raghunath Das Goswami developed intense greed to hear, to serve, to surrender to the Lord. And that developing that greed is the purpose of our life. So, so Raghunath Das Goswami served also Haridash Thakur and he was daily hearing. And then there is a small pastime where um, his father uh, had some political complexity with the Choudhury, the tax collector. And Raghunath Das Goswami very expertly he rescued him. So, Hare Krishna, secure blessings. So, um, so Raghunath Das Goswami solved that matter and after that he was, he wanted to join Lord Chaitanya's party. But when uh, uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu after Sannyas was coming to Kulinagram, so that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he met, Raghunath Das Goswami met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he expressed his desire that I want to, uh, I want to surrender myself unto your mission. And I want to serve your lotus feet. Hare Krishna Prabhu. <laughs> Seek your blessings Prabhu. The permission I can skip. Prabhuji is my Siksha Guru. He, thank you, sir. Should be exchanging our place. So, um, so Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Antalila, chapter number six, actually describes that. So, text number fourteen. C C Antya six fourteen. So. Um, yeah. So here, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually, um, when Raghunath Das Goswami expressed his desire, they want to fully surrender. So what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling is this verse: Prabhu shikshate teho nijo ghare jai markata bhairagya chari hoyla bishayi pray. So what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling is the same instruction he also gave Rupa Goswami, and same instruction is also there for all of us that we should not do markata bhairagya, means monkey renunciation means show of renunciation, we should not do. What we should do is, mark out a bhairagya, leave monkey renunciation and do hoila bishai pray. Externally act like a pound shilling person. Externally act like a pakka materialist. Meaning what? That we cannot falsely renunciate our, the different responsibilities we have, the different duties we have, family, job, etc. That is not the suggestion here. So what Mahaprabhu is telling that you keep the renunciation inside 
and when appropriate time manifests then automatically things will happen so that is the instruction mahaprabhu gave to rup sanatan also that uh, that do the bhakti inside and bahire loko vyavahar that outside you should act like a normal person so raghunath das goswami Uh, you know he did this uh, political negotiation with the choudhury and all very very expertly so this shows that any skill actually can be used in krishna seva so raghunath das goswami his political prowess he shown right at the childhood rup sanatan they also showed uh, so like that any political skill or any other ramananda rai he also was a political person but how he used the same skill not to do policy politics inside devotees but he used the skill to make negotiations with the mughals uh, and also he used the skill to drabaila prabhur mon that uh, mahaprabhu's mind to make it soft he used like pratap rudra maharaj he glorified on him so raghunath das goswami acted like a perfect metalist person and the parents were very happy uh, but you know he again wanted to actually leave this world because he got the taste the prema dhan the love of god that he had right from haridas thakur so nothing in this world could attract us so his parents noted that and they kept some guards so one time raghunath das goswami's father is telling him to mother you know a lot of bedtime talks happen lot of critical discussion happen that <laughs> time so he's telling my our son has become like a batul like a madman he wants to run let us bind him with ropes so his father is telling this ropes we have we have a he has he inherits indra like opulence and he has a beautiful wife if these things cannot bind him uh, you know what this simple rope will bind so forget about that so similarly we can transcend the bindings the shackles of this world when we develop that krishna prem when we develop that loulam that eagerness to serve krishna to chant krishna's holy name to associate with devotees that is the way automatically it falls off just like we discussed bhakti paresha anubhav virakti annatra chaishatrika ek kala prapadda manasya yathashnata shur tushti pushti shuda apay anugrasam so by practicing bhakti automatically the unwanted the anarthas they falls off so raghunath das goswami developed this eagerness and he wa- he wanted to go that time he heard nitananda prabhu is in uh, panihati and raghunath das goswami wanted to meet him because nitananda prabhu is the hope so the test of devotion is when there are lot of difficulties when we have obstacles which will inevitably inevitably have in spite of those difficulties who did not have pandavas had prahlad maharaj had in spite of those difficulties rup sanatan had nothing was easy it was not a cake walk shila prabhupad how much trouble he took how many years he tried so in spite of the difficulties when one takes all enthusiasm and endeavor to progress in devotional service that extremely pleases krishna and that is the test of devotion so raghunath das goswami he developed a eagerness to meet nitananda prabhu because he is the hope so for all of us also if we are feeling facing difficulties some anartha that we are not able to overcome for many many years lord nitananda prabhu is the hope devotees are the hope so raghunath das goswami came and raghunath das goswami parents chaitanya bhagavat describes that their parents used to also serve lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's family so we saw chaitanya mahaprabhu gave a audience to raghunath das goswami so nitananda prabhu knew immediately he came so one of the sevak servant of nitananda prabhu said raghunath has come and raghunath das goswami from a distance he p- paying obeisances you know he is not taking pride that okay my parents 
I used to serve uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's parents, or I'm from a wealthy family. So um, he's not he's not taking shelter of those things. So and that that's what please Lord Nityananda Prabhu and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that his humility. Trinatapi suni chena taro rapi sahishnuna amani namana dena kirtaniya sada hari. That if we want to please the Lord, then we have to be humble like a blade, blade of grass. So from a distance, he's paying obeisances. And Nithananda Prabhu noticed that. And he called that, you know, you are a thief. He says, like jokingly, that you are a thief. You are hiding yourself. And uh, so I'll give you a punishment. What is the punishment? That you feed all my associates Chira and Dahi, cheap price. So, uh, so Raghunath Das Goswami is uh, immediately very, very happy to get the order from the Lord. So, uh, and he immediately, he immediately goes and arranges all his associates that that please serve all the associates of Nityananda Prabhu, all the devotees, and Lord Nityananda Prabhu. And all the all his people goes, and they buy high quality cheap price. No chura, you get the chura, cheap price, and they buy yogurt. Then a special banana called chapakala, banana, which is a small size but very fragrant. Camphor and their fruits, mango and many other things they buy, and they are all very eager to serve. So that's why you see Srimad Bhagavatam 2.8.4, it says, Srinata Shraddhaya Nittam Krinatascha Shacheshtitam Kale Na Nati Dirghe Na Bhagavan Vishate Ridi 2.8.4, it says. Uh, so, yeah. So when we hear regularly, then we bind the Lord in our heart. And uh, the sloka that I wanted to tell is 1 to 16. Shushusha Shuddha Dhanasa Basudeva Katharuchi Shan Mahat Sebaya Bipra Punna Tirtha Nishebanat. That by serving the devotees, we develop attraction for hearing about the Lord, his pastimes. So serving the devotees, pleasing the devotees is the essence. So we see Raghunath Das Goswami, he was so eager to serve the devotees and he sent all his men and they get in big jars, they put, so one big jar they put, uh, they, they soak the chivra and uh, at the end there are many, many small clay pots and one pot they serve chivra that um, uh, mixed with dahi or yogurt, cheap rice mixed with yogurt, another cheap rice mixed with the milk. So, and so many people came that people were standing even on the in the Ganges also they were standing, <laughs> like water flowing till the uh, abdomen. They're standing like that, and uh, and and there's so many uh, from surrounding village so many people came and uh, and all the shopkeepers they also came because they want to make business right they want to sell <laughs> so Raghunath Das Goswami seeing so many people coming <laughs> just like recently we are also having a program and the head count is increasing <laughs> 10 10 like that so <laughs> Raghunath Das Goswami when he was doing Chiradahi then so many people came so what he did the shopkeepers came, he bought from them and he feed them also. <laughs> and uh, so like that, and it immensely pleased Nitananda Prabhu. And that time Nitananda Prabhu called Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. And uh, Nitananda Prabhu actually made an asan and he put two pots for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and Nityananda Prabhu uh, together, both the brothers, they took prasadam. And uh, then uh, both of them,
were enjoying, uh, seeing all the devotees enjoying. So Lord becomes very happy when he sees the devotees are served and they are very happy. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in you know, four places he appears. So Shachira Mandire are Nitananda Kirtane, Ragaba Bhavane are Shibasha Angane. Echari Tai Prabhu Sada Abhirbhav, Prema Vishta Haila Prabhu Sahaja Sobhav, Prema Krishta, Prem Akrishta, Hai Prabhu Sahaja Sobhav. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, four places. Sachira Mandire are Nitananda Nartane, means the house of Mother Sachi. Whenever Sachimata offers, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes. Shachira Mandire are Nittananda Nartane, when Nittananda Prabhu does dancing. Raghava Bhavane, so Raghav Pandit when he offers, also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes. So, so both the brothers, uh, you know, they, they are very happy and like, like uh, Pulina Bhajan in Krishna's pastime, there is a pastime of Krishna sitting at the center and all the cowherd boys taking Prashadam from the lunch boxes. So a similar scene was created here. All the Nitananda Prabhu's associates, they developed the mood of like a cowherd boys. So they are all sitting and uh, they are all enjoying this wonderful pastime of Chiradahi Utsam. So actually that, that happened today in this um, particular day, Tithi wise. And uh, we can learn a couple of uh, lessons from this, how uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, he was you know, so, so humble. Queen Kunti, uh, he tells um, Srimad Bhagavatam 1.8.28 Janma isariya shuta shrivir edamana madapuman naivar harti abhidhatum bai tvam akinchana gocharam So when we become akinchana gocharam, so it uh, it's, does not tell that externally we have to poor. So it doesn't mean that every rich person is a fallen person, every poor person is an advanced person. It doesn't mean that. This Akinchana Gocharam means it is inside that we understand that whatever I have, whatever belongs to me, it actually belongs to Krishna. I have nothing. So that is the consciousness, Akinchana Gocharam. So we see, see that Raghunath Das Goswami had this consciousness of Akinchana Gocharam. And how he nicely served all the devotees and we see soon after that he was actually was able to by the divine arrangement of the Lord he was able to actually um, leave home and actually he ran for 15 days and then he surrendered to Lord in Jagannath Puri um, and after that Raghunath Das Goswami he displayed great renunciation. So he was, first few days he was begging in uh, Jagannath temple door and then um, um, then he uh, also goes to different different places to take prasadam. And at the end he was taking from uh, you know, the cows, whatever the chew, whatever remnant, that is what he was taking. So this renunciation which is basically inside, it's not external, as we saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, Markat Bhairagga, leave Markat Bhairagga. But inside renunciation, that actually pleases the Lord so much. Mahaprabhu Bhakta Ganer Bhairagga Pradhan, Jahadeki Pritahan Gaur Bhagavan. So Bhairagga is the main substance of the followers of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that means we engage everything in Krishna's service to our best of our ability. Uh, our whatever opulence we have or whatever talents we have, whatever faculty we have, we use in Lord's service. And uh, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya also wrote this wonderful sloka, Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartam Ekam Purusha Purana Shri Krishna Chaitanya Shri Radhari Kripam Vodhirastam Ham Prapadde. So Mahaprabhu Bhairagya Vidya, he gave to distribute this Bhairagya Vidya, this knowledge of renunciation and Nija Bhakti Yoga, devotion to 
himself. So, um, Raghunath Das Goswami, he is the emblem of this renunciation. Um, and he is the Prayojan Acharya of our Sampradaya. So, um, so in our um, Sampradaya, Samanda. Samanda means the connection with the Lord. So, Shri Shri Radha Madan Mohan is the Samanda Murti. Samanda Diti. And Sanatan Goswami is the Samanda Acharya. It is the knowledge about our relationship with Krishna. Abhidaya is Shishi Radha Govindaji and Srila Rupa Goswami is the Acharya for that. Abhidaya is how to execute devotional service. And Prayojan is uh, the Abhidaya deity is Shishi Radha Gopinachi. Raghunath Das Goswami is the Acharya for that. And uh, that signifies the ultimate goal of Krishna Prem. So, um, so today is the great day of Panihati Chiradhahe Utsav. So we discussed the past time of that. And it is in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Antalila, 6th chapter. Now I pause for a moment to uh, see if you have any comments, questions, and Prabhuji, if you could kindly add anything. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Anybody has any comments or questions? Anybody? Okay, so we can read uh, on the Antalila, 6th chapter, if you can put up it on the screen. So Antalila 6. So we'll uh, read text number 14. Yeah, we can go to the 14. प्रभुर शिक्षाते ते हो निजो घरे जाए मरकट बैराग्य छरी होइला विषय प्राय इंस्टेड ऑफ बिकमिंग ए सो कॉल रिनन्सियंट रघुनाथ दास फॉलोइंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द लॉर्ड रिटर्न्ड होम एंड प्लेड एग्जैक्टली लाइक ए पाउंड शिलिंग मैन टेक्स्ट 15 भितरे बैराग्य बाहिरे करे सर्व कर्म देखिया तो माता पितर आनंदित मन Raghunath Das was inwardly completely renounced, even in family life, but he did not express his renunciation externally. Instead, he acted just like an ordinary businessman. Seeing this, his father and mother were satisfied. Mathura hoite prabhu aila varta jabe paila Prabhu Pas Cholibare Ujjokkarila. When he received a message that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had returned from Mathura city, Raghunath Das endeavored to go to the lotus feet of the Lord. Then we'll jump to then the Govardhan Hiranamun uh, Majumdars, their political pastime comes. So we read from text 35. Ei mato Raghunather batsare kogelo ditiyo batsare palaite mon koilo. In this way, Raghunath Das passed one year exactly like a first class business manager. But the next year, he again decided to leave home. Text 36. Ratri uti akela cholila palaya dur hoyte pita tare anila dhoria. He got up alone one night and left. But his father caught him in a distant place and brought him back. Text 37. This became almost a daily affair. Raghunath would run away from home and his father would again bring him back. Then Raghunath Das's mother spoke to his father as follows. Our son has become mad, she said. Help him by binding him with ropes. His father, being very unhappy, replied to her as follows. Raghunath Das, our son, has opulences like Indra, the heavenly king, 
and his wife is as beautiful as an angel yet all this could not tie down his mind how then could we keep this boy home by binding him with ropes it is not possible even for one's father to nullify the reactions of one's past activities lord shri chaitanya mahaprabhu has fully bestowed his mercy on him who can keep home such a madman of chaitanya chandra then raghunath das considered something in his mind and the next day he went to nitananda gosai in the village of panihati raghunath das obtained an interview with nitananda prabhu who was accompanied by many kirtan performers servants and others sitting on a rock under a tree on the bank of ganges lord nitananda seemed as effulgent as hundreds of thousands of rising suns many devotees sat on the ground surrounding him seeing the influence of nitananda prabhu raghunath das was astonished raghunath das offered his obeisances by falling prostrate at a distant place and the servant of nitananda prabhu pointed out there is raghunath das offering you obeisances hearing this lord nitananda prabhu said you are a thief now you have come to me come here come here today i shall punish you so bhakti siddhantar saraswati goswami maharaj he said that don't try to see the lord but act in such a way that lord wants to see you so here we see because of the raghunath das goswami's attitude his service attitude lord nitananda prabhu wanted to call raghunath das goswami near him and give him mercy so let's see next the lord called him but raghunath das did not go near the lord then the lord forcibly caught him and placed his lotus feet upon raghunath das's head lord nitananda was by nature very merciful and funny being merciful he spoke to raghunath das as follows you are just like a thief for instead of coming near you stay away at a distance place now that i have captured you i shall punish you make a festival and feed all my associates yogurt and chip rice hearing this raghunath das was greatly pleased raghunath das immediately sent his own men to the village to purchase all kinds of eatables and bring them back so we see raghunath das goswami is so eager to serve so when we chant the hare krishna maha mantra the meaning of the maha mantra is shila prabhupad said it's begging for the lord to that we get engaged in his devotional service so when we chant the symptom of nice intense chanting is that developing a service attitude so when we chant nicely we develop a service attitude and we when we serve nicely then we can chant very nicely so it's like a, goes that way raghunath das brought chip rice yogurt milk sweet meats sugar bananas and other eatables and placed them all around as soon as they heard that a festival was going to be held all kinds of brahmanas and other gentlemen began to arrive thus there were innumerable people seeing the crowd increasing raghunath das arranged to get more eatables from other villagers other villages he also brought 2 to 4 Hundred large round earthen pots. He also obtained five or seven especially large earthen pots, and in these pots, a Brahman began soaking chip rice for the satisfaction of Lord Nityananda. In one place, chip rice was soaked in hot milk, and in each of the large pots, then half the rice was mixed with yogurt, sugar, and bananas. The other half was mixed with condensed milk. and a special type of banana known as champa kala then sugar clarified butter and camphor was added after nitananda prabhu had engaged his cloth for a new one sorry after nitananda prabhu had changed his cloth for a new one and sat on raised platform the brahmana brought before him the seven huge pots on that platform all the most important associates of Shri Nitananda Prabhu, as well as other important men, sat down in a circle around the Lord. Among them were Ram Das, Sundaranand, Gadadhar Das, Murari, 
ಕಮಲಾಕಾರ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪುರಂದರ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಜಗದೀಶ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ್ ದಾಸ್ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಗೌರಿದಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೋರಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಾಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ಧರನ್ ದತ್ತ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆದಿ ಮೆನಿ ಅದರ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿತ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ನೋ ಆನ್ ಕುಡ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಫರ್ ಟು ಅರ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಚಿಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಚಿಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಯೋಗಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನೋ ಆನ್ ಕುಡ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಟು ಅರ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ಸೋಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಯೋಗಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ಸೋಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಗಟನ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಂಜಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಟು ಅರ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಚಿಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಂಜಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಟೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ದಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಂಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮೇನ್ ಹೂ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ರಾಘ ಪಂಡ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಅರೈವ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಹೀ ಬಿಗನ್ ಟು ಲವ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಹಿ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಕುಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಘೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದಮ್ ಹೀ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ರಘ ಪಂಡಿತ ಸೈ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ಟಚ್ಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ರಿಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫುಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಸೆಲ್ ಈಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಅಟ್ ನೈಟ್ ಐ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಎ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೌಹರ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ಜನರಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕೌಹರ್ಡ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಈಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಪಿಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಮೇಡ್ ರಾಘಪ ಪಂಡಿತ ಸಿಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹೀಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ವೆರ್ ಟೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೀಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ಸೋಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಚೀಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸರ್ವ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ಇನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ವೆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಅರೈವ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ದೇ ದೆನ್ ಸಾ ಹೌ ದ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಚೀಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಯೋಗಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ಟೂಕ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಷಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೀಪ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪುಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಆಸ್ ಎ ಜೋಕ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕೆಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಷಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಪುಷ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾಫ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಮೇಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ವಾಸ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫನ್ no one
purchased it all he gave them the price of their goods and later fed them the very same food anyone who came to see how these funny things were going on was also fed cheap rice yogurt and bananas after lord nitananda prabhu finished eating he washed his hands and mouth and gave raghunath das the food remaining in the four pots there was food remaining in the three big pots of lord nitananda and the brahmana distributed it all to the devotees giving a morsel to each then the brahmana brought a flower flower garland placed the garland on nitananda prabhu's neck and smeared sandalwood pulp all over his body when a servant brought betel nuts and offered them to lord nitananda the lord smiled and chewed them with his own hands lord nitananda prabhu distributed to all the devotees whatever flower garland sandalwood pulp and betel nuts remained after receiving the remnants of food left by lord nitananda prabhu raghunath das was great greatly happy ate some and distributed the rest among his own associates thus i have described the past times of lord nitananda prabhu in relation to the celebrated festival of cheap rice and yogurt shri pani hati chiradahi mahamat sab ki jagat guru shila prabhu pad ki nitai gaur premanande thank you very much for all of your time and patient hearing now we'll have the sandha arati of shri shri radha madan mohan shriman mahaprabhu shri shri lakshmi narsingha dev um if anything good and inspiring it's not mine it is vishak maharaj nirkula mata ji um guru maharaj shila prabhupada and previous acharyas anything inappropriate that's mine and i beg forgiveness for the same thank you very much hare krishna and thank you shivash pandit prabhu for coming and inspiring us and thank you um the broadcast team here hare krishna okay so the cushions kindly keep them at the back and anand radhika will lead the aarti today hare krishna
ಪ್ರಾಚಕಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರ ಶತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣ ಅರವಿಂದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಧಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರೌಪಾದಿಕಿ ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಶೇವಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರೌಪಾದಿಕಿ ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಗುರು ವೃಂದಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ್ ಸನಾತನ್ ಭಟ್ಟ ರಘುನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀ ಜುಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ದಾಸ ಗುನಾ ಶರಗ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭುಗನ್ ಕಿ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹೋ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಮದನ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ಗೋಪ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಕುಂಡ ರಾಧಾ ಕುಂಡ ಗಿರಿರಾಜ್ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಕಿ ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಮಥುರಾ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನವತಿ ಮಾಯಾಪುರ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥಪುರಿ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಂಗಾ ಜಮುನಾ ಮಾಯಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದೇವಿ ತುಳಸಿ ಮಹಾರಾಣಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸಮವೇತ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ತಾಯಿ ಗೌರ ಪ್ರೇಮನಂದೆ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಡಿವೋರಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಡಿವೋರಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ಡಿವೋರಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರಾಂಕ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರೌಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಯ
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे वी वेलकम यू ऑल टू द इस्कॉन ऑफ सिलिकॉन वैली संडे फीस फेस्टिवल टुडे इज ए स्पेशल ओकेजन टुडे इज ए पानी हटी बेचिरवा फेस्टिवल दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑल थ्रू आउट द इस्कॉन सेंटर्स and this happened this past term happens during the chaitanya mahaprabhu and nitayananda nitayananda prabhu's uh, past times uh, and that place is uh, near kolkata so we are celebrating that festival today and on that occasion his grace shamrupa prabhu has talked about that past time so let's give him a big round of applause and express our gratitude <laughs> we also look like to thank her grace um ananya radhika mata ji for leading a beautiful um, aarti and bhakti in aradhya for leading a narsimha aarti so any new comers today here at this corner of silicon valley we have oh we have few uh, few devotees thank you all for coming to the iskon of silicon valley thank you mata ji and if there is anything we could be of any assistance please reach out to us my name is shri gopal das or you can reach out to hansa priya mata ji she is in the back we would be happy to assist you in any way we can hari krishna so for them let's chant one maha mantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो टुडे वी हैव फोर संडे फीट स्पॉन्सरशिप्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्नॉलेज अनुषा माता जी शी इज स्पॉन्सरिंग ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ हर डॉटर्स तुलसीज थर्ड बर्थडे इज शी हियर ओके प्लीज she does it she stay okay you want to talk there yeah, yeah this is our ritual here so she is well aware of that yeah anything thank you hari krishna hari krishna say hari krishna hari krishna okay Let's give. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give it back, Babu. <laughs> okay, you can, you can, you can turn it off. That, yeah, that's fine. Mike, 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 Mike. So that was a surprise for me. <laughs> Thank you, Tulsi, um, and we wish you all the best. And the next sponsorship is Aishwarya Mata Ji. Is she here? okay maybe so let's thank her in her absence here and the next is the anonymous donor who would like to sponsor the sunday feast on the occasion of his father's birthday and for his good health and also for his spiritual progress so let's thank him in his absence here okay. and the next sponsor is uh, satya prabhu he is sponsoring uh, for again for the well being of his health and his family thank you hari krishna you would you would like to come no thank you and also we would like to express our gratitude and thanks to elena mata ji who uh, sponsored uh, the feast a uh, few weeks back but she was unable to come so we would like to invite her please come in the front mata ji if you like yeah would like to That's okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. This is a small gift. Thank you. And uh, you would like to say something? Okay. Thank you. Hare Krishna. <laughs> And Tulsi, this is your gift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So 
So thank you for all the sponsorships. Um, and now we have announcement from uh, Her Grace Hans Priya Mataji. She would like to say a few words. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So see, can I keep this one? No? Okay. Hare Krishna. So as you know that ISV, every Sunday we meet, it's not just that. You know, we are a family. We come together, we associate with each other, we grow up with each other, we learn from each other. So ISV is all about community family, right? There are devotees, they move into this community. There are devotees, they move out. It's the nature of Silicon Valley, I guess. And uh, we have uh, actually privilege and honor to have a Darshan Mohan Prabhu and his wife Nidhi Mataji and their two kids, Ananya and also Himangi Kishori. So they're a wonderful family of ISV. They've been a part of ISV since 2016, 2017. They started coming regularly at ISV from last few years, and Prabhu has never missed. Every Sunday, he cleans the parking lot, he cleans the trash. He, if you see that if anything is clean out there, it's because of Darshan Mohan Prabhu and our own Vijay Damodar Prabhu. The commitment comes from the heart is when it's involved with the cleaning, right? And Prabhu has kept that and taught us. So we are very grateful for your association, Darshan Mohan Prabhu. Not just that, Prabhu also goes out every weekend with the book for book distribution, with the, led by Kameshwari Mataji, and also sometimes with the Leela Nandini Mataji. Not just that, Mataji, Nidhi Mataji here, she takes Ananya out, and Ananya has distributed over hundreds of books. That includes the CC sets for Gorpurima Marathon that she did it. Uh, can you stand up, Ananya? If she can do 25 <laughs> and hundreds of books of Srila Prabhupada, we all can do much more, right? And Nidhi Mataji never fails to provide the snacks for, for the Sankits and devotees. This is how we are a family. It's, it's not that we just associate in the temple, but they also support each other to, to for, give forward the love of Srila Prabhupada, pushes the mission of what Prabhupada's teachings are, fulfilling the Guru Maharaj's desires. So we, this is going to be a great loss that Darshan Mohan Prabhu and Nidhi Mataji, Ananya and Hemangi Kishori are moving away from ISV. So it's a bittersweet day because sweet in the sense they're going to carry over this mission to the to the Austin or wherever they're going. And Ananya, you're going to be the future leader of ISKCON, right? <laughs> you're going to send the report to Vaisheshika Prabhu that every month how many books are getting distributed. How we do the MSF offering, please continue to do your offering to Vaisheshika Prabhu, okay? All right, let's have Darshan Mohan Prabhu, Nidhi Mataji, and Himangi Kishori, and let's hear from them. Thank you so much, dear devotees here. I, I mean, I am just... Um, I don't think so. I'm doing so much in the way the Mataji expresses it here. But it sounds like devotee association. Just going with the devotees and just doing with uh, Prabhuji, with the mother Prabhuji. Just I'm doing with him. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm doing too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Kameshwari Mataji guiding Ananya. I'm just taking her, him, uh, her in the team and then things are going. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, uh, the family support, the Nidhis, she's keeping her ready. Okay, let's go, like sometimes she's 
Yeah, thank you so much, Mataji. Please forgive me, and I'm seeking all the devotees, Vishnu assembled here for my spiritual being. I can serve my Guru Maharaj, Sri Prabhupada, Hari Guru Vishnu. This is how this parampara I learned from here. Basically, I grew up here since I came here. I used to go to temple, this con, Delhi, and then even to the Bangalore, but I didn't find, there is a big community, but the kind of beauty association, the caring here. So here is like how the people caring each other. And then, yeah, it's, it's all because of devotees caring. <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> I'm doing, but yeah, thank you so much, Mataji. Thank you. Hey, Krishna, thank you for all helping me. Hey Krishna, thank you for all the devotees helping me during my mission. Uh, every, every day I learn something new from all the devotees, and especially thanks to Vishishka Maharaj and, and Nirkula Mataji for guiding all the spiritual progress from here I am now. Hey Krishna. So, oh, wait, Nithi, wait. Uh, so devotees of IS, we have come together and have actually put together a small token of appreciation for you. So here is for you and your family. Please, uh, the, this was headed by uh, Kameshwari Mataji and Vijay Damodar Prabhu. So they have put a wonderful gift for you together. And they also have, uh, ISV also has cake for you outside. So you could... Uh, So the friends and family, those who would like to see them off, there would be a cake. Please enjoy them. Give them your give them your best wishes and also hope you carry over the Srila Prabhupada's and Vaisheshika Prabhu's mood to wherever you go. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. With this, I'm gonna hand it back to you wanna go ahead with the cook, someone here? Please do. Hare Krishna, today's prashadam was cooked by Ujvala Rasa Mataji, Uttara Mataji, Sarisha Mataji, Sri Ram Prabhu, Srini Prabhu, Shamasundar Prabhu, Tadiya Seva Prabhu, Divyanand Prabhu, Achita Radhika Mataji, Naveen Prabhu, Palika Mataji, Parth, Ambarish, Servi, and Kaili Kunja Kumari. I also see Ram Vijay Prabhu's wife here and would like to welcome you. Our hearty welcome from, to ISV. I think I saw you last week also over the camera, so I just want to make sure that I made personal connection. And with that, I also would like to request each of you to please meet someone you don't know and look in their eyes, look in their heart, and ask them how you are and how you can help with each other's sadhana. How, they, how, is, how is your chanting? How can I help? Where can I you know, be help to you? So please connect with each other. and. Just spare one precious moment with each other and leave with that for the rest of the week and today's chanting and katha. Hare Krishna. And also uh, Vijay Damodar Prabhu would like to say a few words. Uh, please come here for, oh, he has, yeah, but please come here in the front. And we hope Darshan Mohan Prabhu, this is a temporary transition. And you will come back again to Bay Area. We are uh, looking forward for that day again. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We accept our humble obeisances. I think Prabhu said what I wanted to say, which is Darshan Babu Prabhu is just going for a tour visit. He's going to take uh, stock of the situation in the world and then make sure all the trash cans in the world are clean. And he's, and he's going to come back here, right? Well, Also, it's an amazing family, not just uh, Prabhu. Obviously, he uses all his muscles. You can see uh, when we leave the trash, and you've done good work, it's full to the top. And suddenly, notice half it's gone. You know why? Because Darshan Mohan Prabhu happened there. When he goes and jumps on it, it just goes half. And then you still can't take one more week of load. So, he's amazing. <laughs> Janmashtami, right? We don't have place, you know, that we cannot keep things out on the other side. They refused, they didn't allow us to keep things there. But he's been able to squeeze like 13 times the load in the same place. How does he do it? I don't know. I mean, this smell like no maths, no, no magic can, can beat that. 13 times, 13x load in the same containers. Amazing. Um. 
Oh, if you don't come back, we'll celebrate Janmashtami the day you come back. No, you come back early. No. But what's surprising is Ananya, right? Amazing. I mean, uh, I do five CCs in I do months or years. I don't know, but uh, she's rocks. She just goes out and makes CCs happen and SBs, Shrivat Bhagavatams happen like crazy. I mean, amazing uh, mercy on her from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So. And it's a testimony to um, how Vesika Maharaj is actually leading this book distribution and Kavachri Bhattaji providing all the leadership there. So thank you to them as well. So I hope they come back and that's all from my side. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, Kameshwari, you would like to say something? Oh, okay. Hare Krishna. Um, Darshan Mohan Prabhu and Nidhi Mataji, Ananya and Himangi, they are very, very dear to all of us. Um, every Saturday we go out together and when pandemic hit, uh, we were doing distribution online. And I have seen their very, very sincere dedication to what they do. They always remain in background and never come in the front. And Darshan Mohan Prabhu, if you call him for any service, always ready. He is so blissful and um, it's just childlike innocence and he's very, very blissful and always ready to willing to do the service very willingly. And Nidhi Mataji, she has a heart for Sankirtan completely. And um, it, it, it totally manifests in Ananya, we can see that. And Mataji always calls and she says, Mataji, I want to make snacks. Uh, where is the team going out? What's the next plan? When she was in India, she always missing this. And um, everything has been already said, uh, and I'm mostly probably repeating, but uh, this is an overflow of the heart um, for their appreciation. We wish really all the best for them to uh, continue to serve uh, Srila Prabhupada in Austin. And if Krishna willing, we pray to Madan Mohan to bring them back so um, we get their dear association again. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everybody. Um, we have an in-person summer camp, and we have had several registrations, which starts tomorrow. Anybody who wants to do a last-minute registrations, please come and see me. I'll be out. And my name is Sukeshwari Devidasi. It's going to be a two-week summer camp, in-person, in the temple. Thank you. Hare Krishna. I think that's it for the announcements. Uh, now we will go for Prashad Shrivaya prayers. Shari Ravidya Jan Jodendri Atahe Kaan Jeeve Fenen Vishaya Sagore Madhi Jeevaya Ti Oh, uh -huh.
Please come take the shadow. 